Hello and welcome comic book learning sons of glitches and hopefully Wonder Women that might be watching welcome to this week's comic book haul. This haul was purchased on July 22nd, 2017. The Saturday is a pretty big Saturday. I mean, this of course is the weekend of Comic Con. All the Comic Con news has been, you know, coming out and I... I had to force myself uh, to, first of all, I had to force myself to leave the house to pick these comics up, and then, uh, it's 8 o'clock right now, I had, I had to force myself to click off my browser long enough so I can record this video for you guys. But very exciting stuff happening, very exciting announcements. Uh, do I wish I was at Comic-Con? No. No, I know that sounds crazy, but... I, there's just too many people there. I hate standing in lines, and, you know, you get all the information you need online. I'm cool. <coughs> I'm not saying I never want to go to Comic-Con, but I'm not that anxious for it, because I have friends that go there, and they come home dead-ass tired. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of great Comic-Con news coming out. I don't want to go into any full details here. I got a lot of comics to show you guys, but real quick, yes, the Justice League trailer was amazing. Uh, Ready Player One, that looks awesome. Like, you have a curiosity, well now you got my attention, Spielberg. Uh, I just saw the new Thor trailer, Ragnarok, that looks great. Um, been watching the uh, the TV trailers, uh, which is something I usually don't do, but I couldn't help it. Arrow looks fantastic, Flash looks incredibly dramatic and great, I can't wait for that. Just saw Gotham's trailer. Uh, God, what else? I mean, the whole Batman fiasco, the fact that Hollywood Reporter, a, a, a renowned publication, put out a stupid clickbait article suggesting that WB and DC was trying to write out uh, Ben Affleck as Batman. Are you kidding me? Everybody on Twitter and Facebook was going nuts over that news. I didn't acknowledge shit because I knew, I knew it was bullshit. Of course, it was debunked today by Ben Affleck himself, and I just can't believe that that was even an issue. You really think that Ben Affleck, who's had a lot of, like, pitfalls in his career, is going to walk away? A comic book guy at that is going to walk away from playing Batman? And he's going to disappoint his fans? I don't think so. Anyway, this is a lot of comic book stuff. A lot of Comic Con stuff going on. I I don't know if I'm going to make a video on it. I always say that I will every year. And I never do. But anyway, I'm, I, it's just been a really exciting time. Uh, but my eyes are watery and I'm tired. Because I've just been staring at the screen. All day long, well, you know, kind of sort of all day long, looking at all the news for Comic Con. But now, let's, let's just dive right into these comic books. I have a lot to show you guys. Uh, of course, big shout out to the Comic Haven and Under City Comics. So, first, let's show you, let's show you guys what I got at the Comic Haven. Already, it's a pretty, pretty big stock. Uh, uh, let's just take the bag out. Okay, well, what do we got here? We got, uh, this is always a risky thing to do because I think I told you guys what I do. I have the comics on my lap and the quest against the drawer of my computer desk. Um, so I have to watch well how I move 
or else the local follow over the place. So let's see how that goes. Oh, we got a new Spotlight Marvel comic. This is this should be cool. Shows all the upcoming Marvel uh, comics and all kinds of stuff. I'll take a look at that. But okay, we start out with one that I just had to have. I had to find it. Um, neither comic store was actually going to receive it, but JC at the Comic Haven was so awesome and kind enough that he actually, I don't know if he ordered it or if he just picked it up and got it for me. Uh, but I'm really, okay, I was excited until I saw a review, and I was like, oh no, but I'm still optimistic, it's probably something I'm going to enjoy, it sounds like a really messed up, uh, concept, but a fun one, um, and it is from Boom Studios, Sisters of Sorrow. Look at that, okay? That is great. Just that image alone is awesome. A nun with Uzis. Now, obviously, uh, Killer Nuns is not a, a new concept. Obviously, they've been done in, uh, what was it, a, a Hitman game. And, yeah, it's been done before. But, I mean, that image alone is like, wow. I gotta, I gotta read that. But, the biggest deal is, let's see if you can see that, Kurt Sutter. Kurt Sutter is, I, I'm forever grateful to that man, the creator of Sons of Anarchy, and he recently put out Lucas Stand, which I haven't read it yet, but Kurt Sutter is a genius due to, uh, to Sons of Anarchy, and also he he had work on uh, the Shield. So I love that man, and this <laughs> this looks awesome. So I hope it's good. I really do. But it's try not to be swayed by that review. Uh, so next we do have Injustice Two with issue number six, and this is a great cover. I love this cover. We have the origin. Of Super Bowl. That sounds fantastic. Um, she's kind of hit or miss in the game. I, there are times I enjoy playing as her. She's got certain moves that I really like, but I get my ass kicked with her sometimes. Um, I'm so good with Batman. Though. I love Batman. is just the greatest. Speaking of Batman. Uh, we have number 27 of Batman, with part, oh, this is actually the interlude, uh, for War, The War of Jokes and Riddles. This is a really awesome arc so far. Like, they're really setting this arc to be really cool, really incredible. A war between the Joker and the Riddler. The first couple of issues, uh, were fantastic, um... And I'm, I'm so happy I'm, I'm caught up, you know, I'm, I'm going to read this as soon as I can. But I think it's going to shape up to be a great arc for this one of Batman. We have number six of Secret Empire, look at Thor, looking all badass. Uh, I did read, I think I read number... Where did I leave off? Yeah, I think I had to read number four or five and then six, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's going kind of slow, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot slower than I would have anticipated. We have the Mighty Thor, this is number 21. This is another one that I can actually call up. I can, I'm call up now, I can actually read this, so I'm going to do that. I love this character, I really do. We have number 9 of Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. I came really close to actually starting this, but, um, I, I just, I was just reading, like, oh man, I dropped one comic. I, I was just, um, catching up on some other stuff, so, rather than start something new, I was, oh my god, everything's falling, I don't like it, I need, I need a better system here. 
Um, well, it is what it is. Still there, guys. We have number five of Batwoman, which I did start this, uh, and I, I, so far I like it. I left off on number, I read the one shot, and then I read number one and two, so I gotta catch up. I got three of them now to catch up on. Number 24 of The Devil. Slowly but surely I'm catching up. Uh, I just finished the first arc. It deals with Ten Fingers. So, uh, I'm, I'm in trouble here, guys. I need to... Hold on. Try something. Mm. Okay, I got a little stand that I can stack them up on. Uh, we had number 26, or 27, excuse me, of Green Lanterns. Uh, out of Time, part one. Okay, awesome. Number six of All New Guardians of the Galaxy. I was gonna drop this, but the truth is, I enjoy it. I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Number 24 of Harley Quinn. 24? Yeah, 24. <laughs> what is happening here? 100th annual hot dog eating contest. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. I have to sneeze. I do not wish to sneeze. Okay. Whew. That passed. Number 9 of Invincible Iron Man. This got a really good review on IGN, and uh, another review, another review I saw, I forgot what it was, gave us some pretty high marks. If that's the case, this is exactly what I was hoping for. You no know, I've been saying that I want to drop it, but I feel like there's something good could happen. Maybe this is the one. Decided to give this one another chance, because I was not... I wasn't blown away by issue number one. I thought it was kind of boring, but it did have that one hook at the end where I was like, kind of want to know more. So we have number two of Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, and that's a really cool cover. So hopefully that will keep me around, you know, that, that comic will make me... Stick around. Number two of Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe again. This is another one I'm on the fence about, but it did get a good review, so maybe it's worth it. We have number eight of X Men Gold. Pretty dope right there. We have number one of the Astonishing X Men. Yes, a new X Men comic. Why not? Stay. Okay, number six of Super Sons. Also, my voice is kind of like fading away. I have been talking a lot uh, over at the comic shops. Talking about all the Comic Con stuff and everything, it's, it's overwhelming. Okay, um, number 11 of Trinity. What is this? This is number 21 of Totally Awesome Hulk, Hulk, but it is part 4 of Weapons of Mutant Destruction, so that's why I have it. Number 27 of Superman. Um, uh-oh, we got a duplicate, because we got this last week. I guess this was a late shipment. But anyway, uh, got a new one, uh, another copy of 26 Wonder Woman, so, hello. Number 25 of Justice League. And number 31 of DC's Bombshells. So that does it for the Comic Haven. Give me a moment. 
So I'm gonna put these glass in the bag so they don't fall all over the place. in my room. The fact that I have a bunch of lights on to record this video does not help. Well, I saw from the Undercity Comics shop, Undercity Comics, another pretty big um, stack. We have number 9, season 11 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, cover A and cover B. We have, with that, we have number seven of Angel, Angel, and uh, I'm not sure which one is cover A, cover B, but both are pretty cool. I'm not sure why my sister gets this, but um, actually, that's a nice cover talking about the live action one. We had number five of Chon. We got the lovely actresses of Chon on there. And then we have the animated ones. So, okay. We really don't know what this is about, but it looks pretty damn cool. Uh, the, the, the Courier Xenoscope, uh, what was... Oh, it's so tiny. It's issue number four. We got one cover here. And another cover. So, is that a scope right there? We have, uh... Okay, I guess this is season two. 2.4 or whatever. Kind of dreadful. That's pretty awesome. That's a great cover. I'm gonna show we had this. I'm not, okay, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Number 10 of Justice League of America. This is a variant. I I feel like we got it last week, so we're getting some duplicates here. Uh, we did get a black one, we did get a uh, okay, a variant for Trinity. Got a black and white uh, Justice League. Variant. We got the variant of Superman. Mm, okay, Nightwing number 25. God, I really gotta go back to Nightwing. Uh, I, I did get a variant. If I'm not, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. Here's the variant to Nightwing. Lots of blood. Very good variant. What number is this? Number 9 of Ultimates 2? I thought they were going to cancel that. I couldn't help but This came out last week and I, I took another look at it and I think it's pretty cool. Got the variant to number 13 Titans. I'm not sure which one I want to show off, because I, I guess I'll show off this. Uh, we got number five of Darth Maul. Love me some Darth Maul. And we got some Paul Damalon number 17. Yep. I love my Star Wars comics. And finally, uh, I'm very happy I got both of these, because these are so so cool. Uh, we have number 27 of Green Arrow. Look at that. Look at Wonder Woman wrapping Ollie in the lasso of truth. That is awesome. And we did get a variant as well. Very, very cool. So that does it for the comics. I actually do have one new Funko Pop to show you guys. Uh, <laughs> I tried to tell my sister to behave this week, but one caught her eye, and I, I, I don't disagree with her decision to get it. Oh, shoot. 
was really over there. I had it like way over there. It was, it was fun. Uh, so, we have, that's so cool. I like this one. I do. We have Katana in the bottom shelf format. That is so cool. The little katana, katana. Whew. Oh, wow. I really like the uh, Harley Quinn. We had the Wonder Woman, but, uh, yeah. So, katana. All right, guys, that does it. I'm done. I'm, like, really kind of wounded right now. Um, thank you for watching, as always. And if you have made it to this point... Might as well be kind and give me a like. I would really appreciate that. Follow me on all of my social media links. Social? Social? Social media links. Uh, Twitter and Instagram especially. Uh, check out WeLiveEntertainment.com and we Live Entertainment on YouTube where they are covering as much of, as much as Comic Con as they can. Uh, and, uh, of course, never let anybody tell you too old to collect comics, because if they do, they'll probably be protesting Comic Con along with the rest of the insane born again Christian fanatics. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, guys, so I will see you guys next week for the next, uh, haul. Unless I see you sooner with a movie review or just a random video. Alright guys, once again, peace out. Katana, might as well take us out, love. Okay? What's this?